Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video about airflow and pruning. So let's start here with the cucumbers that I have that I'm going to start training up the lattice here. And what I have done is I have cut some of these leaves. You can see my piles of leaves. I'm going to throw those in the compost pile. And you can kind of see how I just took these in hand like this, just folded them in hand, and then I just made a 45 degree angle and cut that. That way nothing can get into the stem part, because I'm cutting it way back, kind of like right here. So this is what I've cut, still looks pretty decent, nothing can really bore into that. So we can get more airflow. here we've got just a teeny, tiny, right there it is cucumber started. So we want air definitely throughout our plants. I've done the same thing. This is an, excuse me, an example of zucchini leaves. I've done them the same way because you know you can get those those bore rots that come up if you just take and cut your entire stem rather than just the leaf of that stem. And look how beautifully open this is. So I've pruned a lot so the pollinators can see it. And we've got one, ooh, two. I didn't know there was two. There's one, and then there's two right there. Isn't that nice? All right, so definitely has more airflow. Definitely has more visual, uh, I don't know, sight line or availability to the pollinators. So I've also come out here and I've done the same thing with these melons. Same thing, just cut them. And I'm cutting them more at the base because again I don't want the groundhogs or the possums to come and get anything so I'm kind of trying to focus more up here to have them pollinated but I cannot take all of the leaves out because it's <laughs> almost 100 degrees and I cannot scold this plant but you can see I'm just taking off the leaves I'm not cutting the stems unless the stem like this one over here has absolutely no blooms on it it's an offshoot you can cut those off I'm not trying to cut any of the tendrils off you need these and you can see I came in here earlier and I've got this laying across this lattice part of it, I guess, this little stem. Now, there's that cat crying again. <laughs> so, as you know, I had a lot of volunteer tomatoes in here. I pulled some of them out when they were younger and thinned them out. This one I just cut because I don't even know what variety this is because it's a volunteer. And I needed a lot more air in here so that the bees can see where my melons are and pollinate stuff for me. These are those little mini melons I'm so excited about. Now, what I also am going to tell you is if you can see right here, we've got some stems for this tomato. You don't want to pull them out at this point. You just want to cut them with some scissors at the base level. And now, I've already done that. And watch when I pull them out how much more air that is going to create in there. So I'm just going to grab these real quick. Now look at all that air I've got in there. Plus, I don't really want the groundhogs back in there pulling these down, disrupting the corn, and disrupting my melons. So that had to go these might have to go I don't know we'll see it's at the base of this um, this is on the side that gets the evening Sun so we will see I've done the same thing over here with these leaves <laughs> you can tell I usually when they're scattered like this I'll just leave them and get them with the lawnmower I don't need every scrap for the compost pile but you can see I've cleaned these out not as well as the other side. That other side only really gets morning sun. So I can 
make those a little bit sparse on that side. This side I need to protect because it gets more sun, but they definitely can see these beautiful blooms. Over here with the sugar babies. Look at that. A beautiful sugar baby watermelon. And I've got one right here. So excited. So I need to come out and probably trim a few things around here. I don't know how much I want to trim because it doesn't seem to be hindering anything on this side. Um, I should say with this variety. They seem to be taking and blooming very well. Uh, the tendrils seem to hold better and just automatically do what they need to do without too much guidance, unlike the melons that are over here. So I'm just going to kind of feel this one out. But that is how you can prune your non-tomato plants or your non-pepper plants and get more airflow in them because airflow is important without getting any of those boar diseases. Love you. Thank you. Please subscribe.